Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the World Class Championship Wrestling Review Series. We are in the month of June. There is a missing episode this month, so uh, only three of the four June episodes for 1988 are available. In any event, uh, not a bad show for where we are in the journey. Bob Bradley and the Hood start the, the match, or the card rather, and I mean, it's pretty basic. You know, Bob Bradley, I think, is a guy who, as I've said before, terribly underrated, a guy who they could have done a lot more with, a guy also who, to some degree, I think, gets a bad rap because he did do uh, enhancement stuff. Hood starts with push-ups and the like, and mid-ring pretty simply, pretty easily. Um, but we see the Hood get taken down with arm drags, arm bars, and the like. Uh, Bradley is more athletic than a lot of people give him credit for, uh, a shot to the back of the neck by the hood. The hood does manage to wind up in a rather unfriendly space, and, um, Bradley does, uh, end up getting press slammed rather awkwardly, gets dropped pretty awkwardly. The hood actually ends up getting a rare victory for himself. Uh, a bit surprising there. Tatum and Victory address Sean Simpson. Basically, they tell him that uh, it doesn't matter who he brings as a future partner. Amazingly, less than two months later, his brother Steve is back, which is really bizarre. Um, and it's just bizarre because they make such a big deal out of you know, him being potentially gone for good. Uh, we do kind of see the the um, champions uh, become a bigger deal. And, you know, Victory and Tatum, probably a better team than they had any right to be with the amount of uh, chaos that they have going on in world class at this time. Highlights of Iceman and Buddy Roberts versus... Uh, Kerry Von Erich and Steve Simpson um, from an outdoor, the rodeo arena deal. Uh, Simpson takes a few shots from Iceman King Parsons. Simpson has some difficulty, difficulty mainly because um, he, you know, is, is a little awkward. Parsons, I think, is better as a heel than I ever imagined he would be. Uh, tag off to Buddy Roberts. Roberts kind of uh, really basic, <laughs> really basic style. Kerry Von Erich runs in, does the, the breakup there, hits the discus punch, among other things. Kerry, of course, you know, not your typical guy in this type of scenario. Uh, inside cradle by Simpson. Simpson gets the victory, and we move on to Kerry Von Erich having words for Iceman Parsons. Uh, obviously, Percy Pringle still doing the interviewer duties, which is a little different, um, different just because you don't normally see that kind of thing. Uh, Kerry Von Erich basically says he's going to get rid of Parsons once and for all. He, you know, was formerly friends with him, not looking at him that way. He fought too hard and too long to be back in the area, and, um, then we move to... Jim Richardson, who is a relatively big guy, uh, Richardson doesn't fare terribly well with Samu this particular time out. Samu, of course, part of the NOI Heat slash Samoan family, back kick by Samu. Eventually, they do bring Fatu in over the next couple of months here. Um, but Samu kind of leads things off, several strikes. Meant to be his uh, his shine in this match, and for actually the next several weeks he shines quite a bit. Uh, Buddy Roberts and Iceman Parsons out there to support Samu. Samu gets your victory in relatively quick order. Then we move on to uh, Skandor Akbar discussing the return of Kamala. Akbar says that whether it be Kerry, Kevin or whomever, it doesn't matter. He's going to get even with anybody who's ever done him wrong. You don't cross Akbar. Kamala is dangerous, and everybody needs to be concerned about the danger that is Kamala. Uh, Grim Reaper versus Mike Moreau. Um, 
actually kind of interesting because it indicates to me the Grim Reaper is along with uh, Angel of Death. That makes sense. Um, Reaper is a relatively big tattooed guy. He never really gets very far in the area. He does have good striking ability, but he also is incredibly green. You know, he kind of hits the double chop to the throat, that sort of thing. Um, hits a, a suplex or two here, big body slam. Out of nowhere, Reaper is meant to be the focal point of this match, as is to be expected. Uh, Michael Hayes has a message for Buddy Roberts. He wants to end things once and for all between the two of them. Uh, obviously, Reaper won the final match. Uh, basically, Hayes says that the Freebird name has been disgraced. He's unimpressed with this. And then we move to Sean Simpson and Terry Gordy versus Tatum and Victory. Uh, Simpson and Gordy, just an odd team. Not quite sure why you'd bring Terry Gordy back and have him do a non-sequential program. Uh, anyway, you know, uh, several arm ringers, arm bars, and the like by Simpson. Simpson then manages to hold on to the armor jack victory for several minutes. Uh, Simpson eventually uh, gets Gordy into the ring. Gordy manages to kind of stumble around. They cut the ring off on him a bit, but obviously Terry Gordy, not a guy who's going to take a ton of punishment without firing back. Gordy does manage to knock Victory down, among others, with um, a hard shot, and then Gordy whips uh, Victory in for drop kick and uh, Simpson takes back over a little bit. Um, John Tatum does everything he can to kind of cheat to get an advantage. Um, odd that this is a 36 and a half minute episode and they are running with less than 10 minutes for the main event. Anyway, double team and Gordy and Tatum I'm not, I'm sorry, um, Victory and Tatum sent together a uh, big clothesline into the corner and uh, Victory spins around, hits the buckle face first. Not good for him. Um, there is a bit of a fight on the outside and the attempt to injure the leg of Steve Simpson with both guys on the inside is there. Uh, then we move on to the main event. In a lights out match, Kerry Von Eric and Iceman King Parsons, they have literally about six minutes in total. Um, you know, Kerry, still a big deal in the Texas area, obviously. Doesn't even get his jacket off before getting, getting attacked. Has some trouble getting back to his feet. Does end up eventually firing back on Parsons, but Parsons takes several hard shots at him before he gets the opportunity to fire back hard clothesline in out of the corner and um you know carry eventually does fire back hits some punches hits the discus punch uh you'd think with it being lights out that there'd be a little more weaponry or something uh unique to the match there really isn't and they don't give them enough time to do much carry does eventually go outside the ring grab a chair um he does whack uh, his opponent with it, and we do kind of see Kerry looks to be a little bit bloodied, although not terribly so. Um, Kerry sends his opponent back into the ring, and um, with a couple of minutes left in the in the contest, you know Kerry is not looking terribly good here. Imagine he just a few years ago not being able to even handle Ice Man King Parsons that easily but anyway claw and uh parsons kicks up out of the claw i don't know that anyone just ever kicked up out of the claw but that is where that goes and this is one of those things where they actually go almost to the end of the program with a non-finish and you know i mean with less than 30 seconds left in the program. They're still they're still going at it. Um, Parsons goes to the top. Von Erich is, in fact, busted open. Parsons 
edge to the top and Kerry hooks in the claw again with about 10 seconds left in the program. Then Buddy Roberts comes up onto the apron. There is no finish. I, I'm not a fan of these no finish uh, matches, but anyway, we'll be back with more right after this.